Hello and welcome. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Thank you so much for joining us here on Health Professional Radio. In this segment, we're going to be speaking with Dr. Andrew Meikle. He's joining us here as founder, CEO, and executive chairman of the Fertility Partners. Now, the Fertility Partners is a network of leading fertility practices with the goal of building a shared intel and best practices to support families, uh, discuss growth in fertility medicine, trends in clinical needs, and how being a part of the network supports clinicians and enables them to focus on patients. Welcome to Health Professional Radio, Dr. Andrew Meikle. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Neil. Great to be here. Well, give us a bit of your professional background, if you would. Certainly. Look, from the age of four, I wanted to be a doctor, and I ended up becoming a dentist due to um, an influence from, from my uncle. So, Really, I'm a healthcare guy, not a Wall Street or a private equity guy. I practiced for about 20 years and realized early on the importance of the business function and how it can not only improve productivity, effectiveness, and efficiency, but here's the key piece. It can really enhance clinical outcomes and the patient experience. So to that end, I founded the largest network of dental clinics in Canada from 2011 to 2018, we acquired 300 dental clinics, providing a full suite of back office services so that the clinical teams could focus on delivering high quality clinical services. Mm-hmm. I then founded the Fertility Partners in 2019. And as you said, we have a commitment to improving clinical outcomes in fertility medicine and a tremendous passion for helping people achieve their dream of having families. So currently, what would you say the landscape is like in in fertility medicine, some of the trends that you see in uh, clinical needs? It's incredibly dynamic right now, Neil. For years, demand has outpaced supply in fertility services, and recently it's increased even more. And this is really due to several demographic and cultural trends. Um, There's increasing infertility. In fact, an estimated one in six heterosexual couples require fertility treatment. LGBTQ families and single parenting are on the rise. Mm -hmm. People having um, children later in life and fertility decreases rapidly in the mid thirties. There's increasing access to fertility services resulting from a rise in employers offering um, IVF benefits. Mm -hmm. And technologies like genetic testing and artificial intelligence are now playing a significant role. How does uh, the fertility partners maintain consistent standards of care in regions that might be different from each other? How do you navigate the cultural differences? Yeah, correct. Yeah, look, in, in IVF, we've got 14 IVF centers and 37 locations across North America. And really, we try to partner with physician leaders in the space um, and high-quality clinical programs and then just support them in the specific areas of their greatest need. Um, Autonomy is key to our model. So what I really want people to know is that our physicians have complete clinical autonomy. You know, style and how they practice is very important to them. There's an art and science to medicine. So this allows the physicians to continue to deliver the best care for their patients. And they also have operating autonomy. Um, They maintain their brands and cultures while we support clinic management, and this safeguards successful cultures. Are the safety measures comparable to the early days or are things much safer now? Oh, incredibly much more safe uh, safe now. There are more stringent regulations, and the training and development is, is significantly enhanced. I understand that you have an e-learning platform as well. Is, is Am I correct in that or is that, uh, am I wrong? That, that is something that we developed at our dental business, Dental Corp, prior to starting this business. We're in, we're in the process of building out an educational platform, but we are not, we have not completed that. When this educational platform is completed, how will that enhance the experience for uh, patients? Is it a, more of a learning platform for the patient or for the, the caregiver? Yeah, well, it's great, great question. We are developing both. You know, it's um, an informed patient. Um, it's a patient that feels that they have much more control over their journey. Um, so we definitely, um, it, it is definitely important to educate our patients, but we also need to continue to um, invest in, in development in our people. So um, we're doing things like nursing, 
uh, training and embryology training, um, things of that nature. What makes the Fertility Partners Network different from other or, or typical healthcare consolidation efforts? I think we, we already talked about autonomy, which um, is key to our model. I'd add that um, our medical leadership and our business expertise unlocks partner potential and facilitates the achievement of their goals. Collaboration is one of our values and shared insights from best in field um, industry leaders are shared across the group. I'd also say that unlike typical private equity, we have a long-term focus on clinical excellence, Neil, and um, we've got the support of patient capital partners to achieve that. Are there additional aspects of your your, your practice there? Yes. In, in addition to you know autonomy being key, Neil, we feel strongly that shared values drive collaboration. Our partners share a view that um, our patients are at the center of everything we do. The TFP platform brings together physicians, embryologists, nurses, and teams together to create a shared understanding of what's best for patients through evidence-based medicine, research, benchmarking across the platform, and, of course, data. And simply put, you know, together we identify and support the implementation of best practices that help our partners to achieve better clinical outcomes, live birth rates, and improve patient experiences. From a high level, we're committed to advancing the field through network investment, research and development, and innovation. We're focused on shared clinical and business insights, which will strengthen the capabilities of our physician partners and their teams. We just touched on the fact that we're investing in training and development for staff, continually reevaluating processes and integrating new technologies into the practice. And we want to lead the profession to world best clinical outcomes and patient experiences. As far as the, the back office uh, support and use of you know, AI as far as building your, your educational platforms, um, what are your thoughts on that? We have a full um, complement of back office support, everything from legal, HR, which includes recruitment, retention, et cetera, to operations, uh, finance. And um, so really every clinical program has different needs and we offer an a la carte, um, you know, back office uh, support to the clinics. Um, and in terms of artificial intelligence, look, there are a number of uh, technologies coming into the space, whether it's the predictability of eggs to become embryos or the predictability of embryos to lead to a successful pregnancy and healthy live birth. Is there anything else that you'd like our listeners to to know about the fertility partners? So look, I, I, I think the reason we exist, Neil, is again to support our physician partners in the achievement of the highest clinical outcomes possible and to modernize the patient experience. Well, give us a website where our listeners can learn more. Absolutely. Thank you. Please learn more about us, the fertility partners at thefertilitypartners.com. And you can also learn more about our partners and our network. We're providing exceptional fertility care across North America on that site. Great, great. It's been a pleasure speaking with you this morning. Thank you so much for giving us some of your time. Thank you. Thank you, Neil. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in conversation with Dr. Andrew Meikle, founder, CEO, and executive chairman of the Fertility Partners. Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, listen in, download at SoundCloud, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com, Health Professional Radio.